African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the Special Military Operation on the 4th of September, 2023. Last night, the Black Sea Fleet Naval Aviation Aircraft have destroyed four U.S. manufactured Willard Sea Force high-speed military boats with landing groups of armed forces of Ukraine Special Operations Forces units in the northwestern part of the Black Sea. In addition, UAVs have struck a Ukrainian shipbuilding facility where unmanned boats were assembled from imported components. In Donetsk's direction, units of the U Group of Forces, in cooperation with aviation, artillery, and heavy flamethrower systems, have repelled three attacks by armed forces of Ukraine assault groups close to Artyomovsk and Severnoy, Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy losses were up to 285 Ukrainian servicemen killed and wounded, five armored fighting vehicles, seven motor vehicles, U.S. manufactured M109 Paladin and Gvozdika self-propelled artillery systems, as well as two U.S. manufactured M105 howitzers. In Zaporizhzhia direction, as a result of active actions by units of the Russian grouping of troops, supported by aviation, artillery, and heavy flamethrower systems, the tactical situation has been improved close to Rabatino and Verbovoy, Zaporizhzhia region. The servicemen have also repelled one counterattack by an assault detachment of the 82nd Airborne Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. The enemy losses were up to 115 Ukrainian servicemen, two armored fighting vehicles, four motor vehicles, two M777 artillery systems, two M109 pallet and self-propelled howitzers, two U.S. manufactured M119 howitzers, as well as two D30 and one D20 guns. In Kupansk direction, units of the Zapad Group of Forces, Aviation and Artillery have repelled four counterattacks by assault groups of 32nd and 43rd Mechanized Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine north of Sverdlovka, Lugansk People's Republic. In addition, Russian troops have struck armed forces of Ukraine manpower and hardware close to Vishai Solnoy, Ivanovka, Timkovka, and Simkovka, Kharkov region, as well as near Novosiolovskoy, Lugansk People's Republic. The enemy losses were up to 60 Ukrainian servicemen, three motor vehicles, and one Polish-manufactured crab self-propelled artillery system. In Krasny Lyman direction, units of the Center Group of Forces, in cooperation with aviation and artillery, have hit manpower and hardware concentration areas of 63rd and 67th Mechanized Brigades and the 12th Special Forces Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine near Yampolovka, Donetsk People's Republic, Chervonaya Dybrova, Lugansk People's Republic, and near Serebryansky Forestry. The enemy losses were up to 40 Ukrainian servicemen, three pickup trucks, and one D-30 gun. In South Donetsk direction, as a result of actions by units the Vostok Group of Forces, Aviation, Artillery, and Heavy Flamethrower Systems, enemy units have been hit close to Novomikolovka and Eurozainoi, Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy losses were over 120 Ukrainian servicemen, two armored fighting vehicles, and nine motor vehicles. One ammunition depot of the Armed Forces of Ukraine's 79th Air Assault Brigade has been destroyed near Novomikolovka, Donetsk People's Republic. In Kherson direction, the enemy losses were up to 35 Ukrainian servicemen, eight motor vehicles, one U.S. manufactured M777 artillery system, and one Mstabi howitzer. One ammunition depot of the Armed Forces of Ukraine 124th Brigade of the Territorial Defense of Ukraine has been hit near Ponytavka, Kherson region. Operational Tactical and Army Aviation, Missile Troops and Artillery of the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation have neutralized manpower and military hardware in 126 areas. In addition, two depots of missile and artillery ammunition of 118th Mechanized and 82nd Airborne Assault Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine have been hit close to Verknyaya Tursa, Zaporizhzhia region. 
Fighter aviation of the Russian Aerospace Forces has shot down one Mi-8 of Ukrainian Air Force near Brusovka, Donetsk People's Republic. Air defense facilities have shot down three projectiles launched by a Mars MLRS. In addition, 24 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles have been intercepted and suppressed by electronic warfare means close to Volchirovka, Shipilovka, Lugansk People's Republic, Berestovoy, Vodianoy, Spornoy, Donetsk People's Republic, Skelovatoy, Shenignoy, Okaritovatoy, Zaporizhzhia region, and near Proletarka, Kherson region. In total, 467 airplanes, 248 helicopters, 6,376 unmanned aerial vehicles, 435 air defense missile systems, 11,643 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,147 fighting vehicles equipped with MLRS, 6,214 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 12,694 special military motor vehicles have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.